Hey there, I'm Niv Mizer, and I like to make games. In the past week, I experimented with some 2D and 3D analytic geometry, with the goal of creating a sphere. It's not actually that simple though, because computers only really know how to render triangles. They can't actually render spheres or circles, so if you ever want to experience the joy of looking at orbs, you're gonna have to fake it. Now instead of doing the sensible thing and using math done by people who are much smarter than I am, I decided that I wanted to try to write my own algorithm to place vertices or points along the surface of a sphere and then they could be connected into triangles later. When doing math, it's often a good idea to simplify a complex problem as much as possible. Solve the simple problem and then see if you can apply this solution to the harder problem. I used this technique a few times during this little project, but the first example is the fact that before even attempting to do anything in 3D, I started by writing an algorithm to distribute points along the diameter of a 2D circle. The function for a 2D circle centered at zero is just r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, so I started with that. Again I simplified the problem by chopping the circle into quarters and only focusing on one of the quarters, and then later I copy that quarter four times. On the quarter circle, I draw a line between the intersection points of the circle and the axes. On that line, I place the number of points I want, done by stepping through it with a step length that I calculate like this. Then, I use those points and the origin point to calculate the function for the lines that start at 0, 0 and go through the points. I then find the intersection of these lines and the circle function, and those points will be the final vertices that I place. This was the result. All this took me only about a day, so I was optimistic about going on and heading into the third dimension. On the second day, I gathered up the nerve, booted up a 3D graphing calculator, and got to work. I figured I would use a similar approach, where instead of a line on which I would place points and then project them onto a circle, I'd place the points onto a plane, essentially a triangle, and then project them outward onto the surface of the sphere. This brought up a few problems though. First, placing points evenly along a line is pretty easy, but placing them evenly on a triangle isn't so straightforward. Like what do evenly placed points on the surface of a triangle even mean? More pressingly, I had barely any idea how 3D graphs or functions worked. Through some trial and error, I started to figure things out, and with the help of Google and GeoGebra, I figured out most of the equations I've had to use. For example, the plane that I'd use as a middleman before projecting the points outward apparently could be represented with a very satisfying function x plus y plus z equals r, r being the radius of the circle. Anyway, fast forward a bunch of math and I'd come to the first problem again. My original solution was just to draw lines from the middle of the triangle to its edges and its vertices and place the points along those lines, but this ended not ideally. I did think it looked kind of cool though, a little like a basketball certainly not what I wanted. On this day, I looked back at my 2D circle generation code and I thought of a new solution to my problem. Instead of starting at the center of the triangle and shooting points outward from there, I should start at the top vertex and go downward. I could let the player vary how many columns the sphere would have as well as the number of points that would be placed on each of these columns. With this new approach that took a lot of extra math, I got this. Yeah, it's not great. Nothing I did seemed to help, and even though I was creating the base points for the columns correctly, like you can see in the video, the points just didn't want to place themselves evenly along the columns. I spent almost five hours trying to fix this cursed bug, until... Yep, believe it or not, I mixed up Z and Y and that ruined everything. Luckily, once that was fixed, everything ran perfectly smoothly and I cannot explain to you guys the satisfaction I got when seeing this butte for the first time. Thanks for watching this little devlog. I plan on posting more game development and programming content, so if that interests you, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you like the video, like the video. Till next time, bye.